If you have watched a movie where a character had a heart attack, you probably saw them clutch their chest, their eyes roll back in their heads, and heard them moan in serious pain before they collapsed onto the floor. Unfortunately, a Hollywood heart attack can be vastly different from a real one. Many heart attacks occur without the warning of outward signs. Today, let's discuss how to identify when you are having a silent heart attack. Welcome to Scope Care, a safe and healing space for patients and caregivers of all ages, specializing in heart health. We always bring something unique and provide long-term hope to the health space through therapeutic gardens. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay connected with us. Also give a thumbs up to this video. The pain you experience from a heart attack may be much less sensational and severe than many people are led to believe. Without the most obvious sign of sudden chest pain, it can be confusing to recognize a heart attack as occurring. This is often called a silent heart attack. Essentially, this means that you don't even know that you're having a heart attack. But how can a heart attack be silent? A silent heart attack is like any other heart attack, and just as damaging. Your heart needs oxygen-rich blood to perform adequately. If plaque, consisting of cholesterol, fat, and other substances builds up within the arteries that transport blood to the heart, this blood flow can be completely cut off. The longer your heart goes without blood flow, the more damage occurs. Unfortunately, due to the nature of silent heart attacks and their potential to go unnoticed for some time, they can cause critical amounts of damage. Without treatment, they can even cause death. I'm going to get uncomfortably honest with you for a second. Heart diseases are one of the leading causes of both male and female deaths in the whole world. But despite the alarming numbers, only 56% of people in the world realize this. For African American, Asian, and Hispanic people, heart attacks are as risky as cancers. But sadly, there is a general lack of awareness in both men and women about heart conditions. And this is an even bigger concern for people living in underdeveloped countries like South Asian nations. There is no better time than now to begin prioritizing your heart health. Arm yourself with realities and knowledge so you can fight the rising chance of cardiovascular diseases in men and women. The amazing news is that you can prepare by knowing these five silent signs of a heart attack. Number one, feeling chest pain, pressure, fullness, or discomfort. Sometimes the pain from a heart attack is sudden and strong, which makes them easy to recognize and get help. But what about when it's not? Most heart attacks include only gentle pain or discomfort in the center of your chest. You'll also feel pressure, squeezing, or fullness. These side effects usually start gradually, and they may go away and come back. This can be complicated because these indications may be related to something far less serious, such as heartburn. You know your body best, though. So if you feel like something's not right, you need to be evaluated by a physician or even head to the emergency room. Number two, discomfort in your body. A heart attack doesn't just influence your heart. You can feel the effects throughout your entire body. This results in confusion when it comes to recognizing a heart attack. You may encounter pain or discomfort in one or both arms, back, neck, jaw, and stomach. These symptoms vary from person to person. For example, a few people reported their back pain from a heart attack as feeling like a rope tied around them. You may also feel overwhelming pressure on your back. If you think you're encountering any of these less obvious signs of a heart attack, do not ignore them. Number three, headache and dizziness. Although migraines and dizziness aren't surefire warning signs of silent heart attack, you should still be on alert if it happens in conjunction with other symptoms. You might notice extreme pain in the head or face emanating below toward the torso. So extreme stinging headaches can be one of the possible silent signs of a heart attack. A study highlighted the case of a 70-year-old woman with chronic headaches. However, one evening her headache was unusually intense and lasted longer than usual. She described the pain as dull, squeezing, and radiating in several head regions. When no medications eased her pain, a cardiologist was called for a consultation. They then found a constriction in one of her arteries. 
In short, headaches are one of the silent signs of heart attacks in women that frequently get overlooked. Additional symptoms including lightheadedness, dizziness, anxiety, and fainting may appear if the condition gets worse. If any of these symptoms appear, the best solution is to visit a hospital as soon as possible. I hope you are learning a lot from this video. Make sure to click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to receive an update on all content from us. Number four, nausea and cold sweats. Sweating is the body's response to regulate the internal temperature and may frequently occur if you live in a hot climate region or have a fever. Another normal activity to trigger the body's sweat glands would be an in-your-face exercise routine. But if you abruptly break into cold sweats and feel clammy for no reason, it may be a cause for concern. This usually means an underlying cardiovascular issue. Waking up in a cold sweat, feeling unwell, and spewing may be indications of the flu. But they can also be signs of a silent heart attack. You may know what the flu feels like because you've had it before. But when your instinct tells you that these flu-like symptoms are something more serious, listen. Do not chalk these indications up to the flu, stress, or simply feeling under the weather. They may be much more serious than that. People over 40, or women who are premenopausal, also frequently experience night sweats. If other symptoms of heart blockage accompany sweating, it may be one of these signs of a silent heart attack that needs medical attention. Number 5. Difficulty in breathing. Feeling short of breath for no clear reason is a warning sign of a silent heart attack. Shortness of breath is common if you've just run up a few stairs or wrapped up exercising. Chronic obstructive pneumonic illness patients with lung diseases also experience breathing problems. But if you notice sudden difficulty in breathing without performing any extraneous activity, at that point it may be a symptom of heart blockage. According to a study published in the British Medical Journal, obese women with cardiovascular issues are more likely to experience shortness of breath than others. Another study also linked frequent breathing problems to women with heart diseases. This shows that difficulty breathing is a serious warning sign of heart attack in males and females, especially for those over 40 years of age. You may find yourself wondering, how do I know if my shortness of breath is a sign of a heart attack? Well, look out for accompanying signs such as chest pain or tiredness. If you notice other symptoms of heart blockage as well, it's most likely a cardiovascular issue and needs your attention. Being aware of the signs of a silent heart attack is critical not enough if you ignore them. The chances of surviving a heart attack are higher the sooner you get emergency treatment. Number 6. Syncope. Another word for fainting is syncope. Syncope occurs when people go unconscious and go limp then quickly recover. Most people have syncope just once in a while, if at all, and it is not an indication of a serious illness. However, syncope can be the first and only warning sign before an episode of sudden cardiac death. Syncope can also lead to serious injury. Take this seriously if syncope happens more often. Let's discuss the pre-syncope conditions. Pre-syncope is the sensation that you are about to pass out. Pre-syncope patients, for example, may feel lightheaded, dizzy, or nauseated, have a visual gray out or problems in hearing, experience palpitations, or feel weak or suddenly hot. When discussing syncope with your doctor, make a note of any instances of pre-syncope. Syncope also happens when there is insufficient blood flow to the brain. If you often faint due to dehydration or a rapid postural change, you should be tested for a serious heart or vascular problem. Cardiac syncope commonly occurs unexpectedly, without dizziness or other pre-syncope signs. Common causes of cardiac syncope are arrhythmia, an abnormal cardiac rhythm. The heart functions inefficiently during bouts of heart arrhythmia, and not enough oxygenated blood may flow to the brain. A variety of cardiac arrhythmias can cause syncope. These also include bradyarrhythmias, the heart beats too slowly, and tachyarrhythmias, the heart beats too fast. The second cause of cardiac syncope is aortic dissection, a tear in the large artery that carries blood from the heart to the rest of the body. This is an infrequent but life-risking situation. Aortic valve stenosis is a narrowing of the valve between the aorta and heart, and is the final cause of cardiac syncope. Aortic valve stenosis can be congenital, present from birth, or develop later in life. Syncope therapy will vary depending on the underlying condition, but may include catheter ablation, a procedure to carterize the specific heart cells that cause abnormal heart rhythm. 
pacemakers, a device placed under the skin just below the collarbone to give regular electrical pulses to the heart via tiny, extremely durable wires used to treat bradycardia, heart block, and some kinds of heart failure. ICDs are tiny implanted devices that give an electrical pulse to the heart to reset a dangerously erratic heartbeat. These are frequently used to treat ventricular tachycardia, or silent heart failure. One of the most serious signs of a silent heart attack is syncope or fainting out. Heart attack victims who experience syncope are up to 11 times more likely to die in the hospital or on the way because of delays in receiving proper treatment. One way to prevent a heart attack is to regularly get your heart screened and lower your risk by maintaining your cholesterol and blood pressure at levels. A healthy diet and lifestyle are another great way to keep your heart healthy. Did you find this information useful? I hope you learned the many warning signs of silent heart attacks that are often missed or overlooked. Do you have any daily health practices to reduce the chance of heart attacks in your body? Please share with us in the comments below. Before wrapping up, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you want to live a healthy life, eat healthy food, stay healthy, stay happy.